What's up Instagram, Petrol Enthusiast, coming back at you again with another do-it-yourself project. Uh, this is going to be on my 550i. Uh, the rear driver regulator went out and I've been watching some things on YouTube to try to see if I could do this on my own. It seems pretty easy but time consuming. But let's get started. There's going to be cover here with the Phillips head that I already removed uh, the top part and then there's gonna be one on the bottom right there It's not seated right. So I managed to pull that out. You gotta, there's these tabs here that walk into the top piece and since mine has the screen, there's a little lip here underneath where that attaches here. You have to lift up carefully and uh, pull. It's not, it's pretty hard to do, but I was able to get that removed off. And now we see, you know, the insides of the door. You just have to remove the lights and the various um, speaker wire. And I'm going to leave that one on there because it's. Uh, that's that convenience light on the bottom of the um, storage, but it's a bit too hard to to get in and like try to remove. So I'm just gonna leave it. But I got pretty much everything out. I'm just gonna get a razor blade right now and cut through the sealant, the weather sealant here, to keep the moisture out. And we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now we have to remove the foam lining there. You just have to be gentle with it because you're going to reuse this again to where it's going to go back on the door and reseal from any moisture. Alright, so the next step is to remove these rubber panels. You press down and you lift up to remove that. And we're going to put this here. Away. Okay, so next is to remove this piece right here. Since I have a screen, it's going to be a little bit difficult because it'll be real delicate. So you want to place a tool, a plastic tool, or something similar to this underneath, and it just comes off. And there it is right there. I'm going to put this on the bottom here where it doesn't get damaged, and then we have three Phillips heads. One two, three, we're going to remove those so we can remove this opposite panel right here. This has to come off too. Doing this yourself looks pretty hard, but if you take your time in this, you'll be able to do this. Instead of paying the dealer, labor to do this. So these are pretty much loose. Collect the screws. And keep them in the safe keep them in the same spot where you have your your windshield uh, visor there. Okay, so you do have to pull on this a bit hard to get it off, so be careful not to break it because... There's Phillip heads holding the, the screen holder, privacy screen holder that you have to remove. Now, I think this one's just a tab, but you have to remove these before you move this and the weather stripping. So let's get on that. Okay. 
so I got those in a nice spot. Now I believe we can remove these fairly. E we can remove this fairly easy. All right, so it just took a little persuasion, and it comes off. <sighs> All right, now we're gonna put this on top of the roof. Now we have that cleared out. This cleared out, and I think we're gonna have to get to the bottom panel here. So we're gonna cut through here and lift this up to see where the issue is. Okay, so what I'm doing here is taking this razor blade and cutting along where the adhesive is so I don't like break um, the all right so we're on the opposite side of the door and now we're going to start removing the, the rubber trim put this aside believe there's we already removed that one on that side so now all of the rubber trim is removed and I believe we have to remove this, this side panel here if I can do it or no maybe remove this first I believe this comes off I think I gotta remove this first I'm not sure Maybe because of this. I mean, it might be a combination of moving this first. There it goes. And then moving this. So we'll put that piece right here. Move this piece. You have to give it a little tug come off now. There it goes. And then that gloss mat. I'm gonna have to do something. Yeah, I just had to rough it up a little, but I think it's okay. Um, so now that we have this and this off, the glass should be able to come up off its seat. But we have to remove that one um, bolt on the bottom. This is a 20, so this comes off the seat. All right. I can't believe BMW drills a hole where this goes in. There's a big washer and rubber gasket right there. Make sure you put that in the secure area now. The glass should be able to come off from the top there. And I'm going to put that in the front seat. So let's go do that. Okay, so now we're going to attempt to remove the glass. It should be fairly easy to do. Hopefully. Oh, not that bad. So I'm going to put this on the front seat. And now we have clear access to that bolt. Okay, so I believe now this is a 10 from what everybody online has been saying. So we're going to close this. There's another one there, but I need a 10 wrench here. These guys have intricate tools for certain things.
That's why a lot of people don't like working on BMWs or have someone else fix them for them. Because if you weren't motivated to, to do this on your own, this would probably cost you a, thousand, a little over a thousand bucks to do. That's why you have to understand that if you want to own a car like this, be prepared for the unpredictable maintenance things that you're going to have to do. As we look at the regulator, yeah, that's it's clapped. <coughs> There's no way you could fix that. But the engine, I mean the motor is still good. Uh, just look at the teeth and make sure that it wasn't grinding too much where there's like a missing notch that'll be a bad thing too if you're missing like teeth right there luckily I caught it in, in time to where I wasn't like doing it <laughs> letting it idle so it's still good so let's get the new regulator on okay so here's the new regulator I got from Amazon as you can see the track is still good the wire is aligned with everything and now we're just going to put the motor back on. On how it goes, I believe. Look at that, I don't even know how it goes. Okay, it goes this way. Come on, come on petrol. You're not that a noob. There we go. So now that we have those three in, it goes through that way like this like the way it was so we're gonna put it in and see how it goes okay so now that you have the new regulator and the old motor in you're gonna tighten up the two bolts that you removed one there one on top there so that's what we're going to do. Okay, that's real good. Okay, now we're going to put back the sensor. Click. And we're okay, now that we have the regulator in, we're going to proceed to put back the window and seat it at this spot right here. Unfortunately, it's in the down position. I wish it was like up here in the middle, but that's okay. All right. There goes the most delicate part. And please be extra, extra careful when doing this because you don't want to break your glass. And you don't want to damage anything while you're uh, bringing this down. Okay, so we got the rear window in right where it's supposed to seat. And make sure there's that rubber gasket right at the bend where it makes contact with the glass and the, the lever. You want to make sure that that's there because you don't want the glass touching just plastic. You want that rubber gasket there. So make sure that one was provided for you or you put one there just in case. So all we need to do is just put the bolt in. Oops, have it secure. That's the wrong bolt. Hold on a second. That is not the right bolt. This is the right bolt right here. And you want to make sure you put the right bolt in. The one with the rubber gasket.
Okay, so this is the most difficult part. You have to make sure that the glass is in between is in between this seal here because this is where it's going to be writing on when it goes up. It takes a little finagling, but you'll be able to do it. Just take your time. Remember, it's a very delicate machine. So I advise in taking your time in doing that. So I got all the seals in right now. So right now I'm going to test this and see if the motor will bring the window up. So this is the moment of truth. Okay, I got the key in ignition. I got it raised, so now the moment of truth. Okay, so what I gather is that it has to be reset through the the CPU or the through an OBD OBD2 reader to reset that you know that new parts in so it'll go back up and down on demand. But it is working, so now all we have to do is just put back everything in reverse. And that's how you re repair and remove and add a new uh, regulator to your, uh, to your window.